Hey friends, today I'm analyzing some points that I lost in a must-win game at the 2021 PPA Atlanta Open against pickleball legend Gizmo and his partner Gabriel. It's crazy looking back at this footage and seeing all the little things that I did wrong that felt so right at the time. Leave a comment if you learned something or if you see something that I missed. I really hope you enjoy this format as I'm looking to do a lot more of this in the future. So stick around and let's get into it. Even though I didn't touch the ball once on this point, I still think there's something I could have done a little bit better. So Gizmo's serving and Mike's returning here. Notice how I'm kind of in the middle of the court. And I actually turned my body completely to watch my kid this ball. I see him hitting it moving forward, so I'm able to kind of reposition myself back on my side. And also the ball bounces on my side of the court, so I need to protect the line. So I'm shifted slightly over to my side. Now, I see Gizmo going to drop this ball. I know he's dropping it because his feet aren't... His left foot's not in front of his right foot, like he's about to load up and drive. So it's probably going to be a drop. When I see him dropping it to Mike's right foot here, I really should take a slight step over and support him because I see him about to attack Gabriel on his left shoulder. All right, so I need to move over and support that attack. However, I stay where I am. Gabriel deflects in middle. And so Mike's now forced to step over and take that ball. I remember the ball is on the left side of the court. That means Mike kind of has the middle and the far side of the court. When he pops it up, I take a small step backwards. I actually get down to the balls of my feet, which is good. But because I was still too far on my side of the court, they're able to split us down the middle. Where if I had been slightly over to the middle of the court, Mike could have protected the line more and this would have been very clearly my ball. Still a good play by Gabriel and Gizmo though. I would say the primary reason that I lost this point comes from a lack of experience, unfortunately. So we have a pretty solid play here. I go up from transition. I see that Gizmo is attacking this from down low, so I know I can get into the kitchen. Now I, my feet are moving here, even after I hit this ball, which causes me to be a little off balance whenever I hit it. I do a pretty good job of recovering though and hitting a solid dink that's I thought was unattackable. And now I see him taking this ball from like knee height below the net and he's trying to roll it. Generally a ball like this is going to go out if they put any sort of power on it at all. In this case it was just kind of a floater though and I should have recognized that as being a slow shot and pounced on this. My paddle was in a decent spot. I should be leaning more towards my backhand because I hit it to his forehand. So it's likely to come back straight at me versus across my body. Uh, overall, should have been ready for a backhand overhead here. I got out of the way though and let it bounce. I told him good shot. I should have been more aggressive with this point. My serve is shallow. Thankfully though, Gabriel doesn't punish us too much on that with a deep return. Mike pops this ball up and then gives me a nice roll on it. Mike hits it again. Now at that point, here's what I'm seeing. Gizmo's taking this ball way down here. Okay, it's very unlikely that he can attack us. And I know that Mike's back and I'm in transition. So for me in this position, I should be thinking poach, 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 poach. Especially since I'm in front of Mike. He takes this ball, pops it up. And I'm just too slow to react to it. I watch it go by me. I could have easily stepped across here, taken one step, and just slammed this back at Gabriel. But instead, I let Mike take it. He gets a little excited and knocks it out of bounds. I just need to be more aggressive there. We would have won that point. Ah, 
This is why you don't try to be a hero because you're going to end up looking like an idiot. I have a nice serve here. It gets deep on Gizmo. They return it. My kid's a solid third shot. Gizmo's still able to take this ball out of the air, unfortunately. I do a great job of in transition, just resetting this ball to the kitchen. I do instinctively take a step back here because I wasn't sure how good that ball was going to be, but it drops super low in the kitchen. Gabriel's now trying to attack me a little bit, and I get a ball on my forehand, and I try to roll it, but this ball is just... It's at my knee, it's low to the ground, I'm not stable, I'm extending my body to, or extending my arm to actually get to this ball, and with Gabriel's reaction time, I mean, I'm just doomed here. There's just no reason for me to hit that ball, and he makes me pay for it, so well done by him, and just a terrible, terrible roll by me. This was a fun point to be a part of for sure. The first thing I want to point out here is what the heck am I doing? Like this is a decent time to poach and look to go over and take this ball. I didn't feel Mike beside me at this time, but why is my leg so extended here? I did take one step with my right foot, but really I should be taking one more step with my left foot and get into a much more athletic position than some crazy yoga stretch here. Play continues. Okay, nice roll, nice hop over the corner by Gizmo there. Get into a little firefight here, Mike does a good job of stopping it. And this ball pops up, I do a decent job of getting back behind it, getting a nice drop. Okay, but right here, ball comes to me, I look to half volley it, and my follow through is just way too high. I should never be taking my paddle up that high on a half volley that has that much pace on it. Really, I should just be stopping my paddle right here, letting it hit, and stopping the motion there. I pop it up, Giz rolls it at me, and once again, I let this ball go. And he gets it. So, that's I think three now that Giz has rolled past me, unfortunately. But a couple things I could have done better there, and he gets fired up here, rightfully so. Nice job. I think this is a perfect example of what not to do in an attack. I see this ball is kind of popping up and setting high in my yellow zone. And I'm looking to be offensive here. Now, my feet are split, so I have one in front of the other. It's very common that I'm attacking out of this position. And they probably know that I'm about to attack. In fact, you can see Gizmo has his paddle on his left hand side ready to block or punch Folly. But instead of going down the line where I should have went because Gabriel has less time and his feet are moving, I could ride a Gizmo cross court. And going cross court gives him a lot of time to react and you see he's just sitting on that ball. So he punches at my partner, makes him pop it up, and then Gabriel finishes the point. But it all started because I attacked cross court and I made it very obvious. There's quite a lot of things I could have done differently here. Number one is just getting up to the line super slow. I was very slow walking up to this line. And because of that, my feet weren't properly set when I got here and I was getting driven at. And because of that, I elected to block it back versus punching it back and keeping Gabriel deep in his half versus letting them come up to the kitchen line. Play continues. Some nice dings. I see this ball gets popped up a little bit and Gabriel's about to roll it at me, and my paddle's in the right position. I'm favoring my backhand here. It hits it to my right hip, and I actually flip my paddle over. 
pick it on the forehand. I got pretty lucky that I didn't pop that ball up too high, but I did sit up high enough to be attacked again. Thankfully this time, Gizmo elected to attack cross court versus at my partner. I was able to get it back down. Mike gets a nice cross court dink and makes Gabriel pop it up a little bit. And once again, here, I think it's pretty obvious that I'm attacking, right? I have my feet split here, once back, once forward. I had a little bit of a backswing. And I make the mistake again of attacking cross court and Gizmo is just sitting on this ball. I think a much better place to attack if I was going cross court was to be at his right shoulder. Because his paddle is kind of down and favoring that left side. But still, I shouldn't attack cross court. I should either just dink this ball pretty offensively, maybe to that corner, maybe down the line onto Gabriel's forehand, or attack Gabriel down the line versus going cross court here. Unfortunately, a ball came onto our court and stopped this point. It was still very good and a lot to learn from it. If you haven't picked up on it yet, the common theme in this video is if you attack cross court, you're going to get beat. This ball sets up pretty high. Right, I see it's coming. My feet are split once again, one's in front of the other, and I'm about to attack. I make the mistake of attacking cross court, and Gabriel's just sitting on this ball once again. Yeah, I put my partner in a very bad position. So, don't attack cross court. Doesn't make any sense.